Now, in Pasco County, mandatory evacuations are in effect for anyone living in evacuation zone A or in mobile homes or RVs. And in Newport Ritchie, we saw dozens of people preparing for potential floodings by filling up sandbags yesterday. Eight on your sides, Alessandra Young is reporting from one of the more flood prone areas in Hudson Beach. We're here at a local business that's right in the middle of evacuation zone A. Now they have shut all of their doors and boarded up all of their windows. Everyone here telling us that they're hoping they don't get hit too hard. Sam's Beach Bar is no stranger to having to take preventative measures when it comes to storms or hurricanes. It seems like once a year this, this has to happen once or twice a year but yeah you know it's the flooding is the big thing last year joe newmar tells me they had nine inches of water inside the restaurant and they're doing all they can to try and keep damages at bay well we're putting up the windows we brought in all the tables and all inside and just getting ready he says they're closed on wednesday and thursday with their fingers crossed on reopening friday the manager says the storm is impacting more than just their hours but their paychecks everyone needs the money I have to worry about all the products in the freezer lose power that's the main thing so the storm is a day but no power it could, be, it could be for a week anyone living in evacuation zone a or in mobile homes and rvs have a mandatory evacuation voluntary evacuations will also be in effect for evacuation zones b and c and for everyone registered as a special needs resident shelters and sandbag locations will be open on wednesday throughout the area we live on the water so we're going to get some sandbags and we're going to like put some plastic down tape it up put some sandbags down molded into the wall. The last storm we had, there was, we got a lot of water. So um, I'm going to put some sandbags and maybe be more prepared this time. After Debbie hit, residents in the area are concerned about storm surge. The last couple of weeks, just rain showers, the streets flood. So we're just worried about coming in the house. People are worried for their homes and businesses. Everyone hoping they don't get hit. There are six shelters that are opening today across the county. If you need to evacuate for a full list, head over to our website at WFLA.com. In Pasco County, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.